Hey guys, Jesse here, and today I'm going to be bringing the first ever coffee review on my channel. And we're going to be starting with one that I've actually never tried. Um, this is just the Zavita 100% um, Colombian, which I picked up at Costco. Um, now, I've never tried this specific um, type, but I do, I do frequently buy the, um, the um, hazelnut vanilla medium roast um, from Zavita, as well as the Organica um, uh, from Costco. I buy all of these in bulk. Um, when they go on sale, I just fuck up and buy a bunch of bags, um, and then I just throw a bag at a time into a little mason jar like this. Well, that's a big mason jar, but you know what I mean. Um, so, so yeah, I've uh, I've pretty much been drinking this coffee for a few years now. Not this specific one, but the other two Zavita roasts, um, as well as a Lavazza Crema e Aroma, um, also from Costco. Which uh, reviews for all these other ones uh, will be coming soon. But we're gonna be starting with this one. Just keeping it simple. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it says, born in Canada, raised on coffee plantations in Costa Rica. I learned from a young age the artistry and passion required for cultivating the finest 100% Arabica beans for over 35 years. That passion has become the beating heart that spurs my family business, creating gourmet coffee unlike any other. I invite you to enjoy one of life's greatest pleasures. So, this is a 100% Colombian Arabica, I'm um, pretty sure. So, for those of you that don't know, if you drink Tim Hortons coffee, that is 100% um, Arabica. Um, some people don't know that. But, yeah, I'm going to brew this up um, in the morning, and uh, I'll give you my initial thoughts on it, and uh, if I would buy it again, because um, I just... I love trying all the different coffees at Costco, and uh, these ones, when on sale, are great, great price. So, yeah, stay tuned for the taste test coming tomorrow night. I figured um, I might as well just do a quick uh, nose nose test on it because I'm gonna fill up this jar. So, I'm to open. Also, a nice thing about these. Um, bags are there receivable a lot of bags you get nowadays are but I do have the um, dual dual uh, zip, zipper seal mm. it's very I want to say um, nutty and oaky it's kind of like an oak kind of like a like a roasting oak or like fire burning um like a nice hardwood uh fire mixed with some some sort of nutty nutty uh, aroma there but it smells good it smells like a nice coffee um so yeah just gonna fill on this baby up and uh like i said we're gonna be burning this thing first thing in the morning, so I'm excited, and uh, so you guys, guys, just a quick tip, um, if you are storing this long term, um, what I used to do is just put some in a baggie, leave it out, now I put it in these jars, um, you want to keep in something airtight so it doesn't oxidize also out of any sunlight, um, the UV rays can oxidize the beans but just your your everyday um led bulbs will be fine um also when you're storing it long term you're probably going to want to put it in the fridge or freezer is best and what i do is i just close this up wrap it up with an elastic band and i either put it in one of these a ziploc suck all the air out so you get something like this, these are great, they're vacuum, vacuum containers, so you actually put it on, and it, and 
it sucks the air out and seals. Um, there's all different types of vacuum ones. I have different ones where you push and slide down. I have one that actually has a little vacuum sealer that, uh, pump that you have to like pull up. That was a great action. You actually have to pull up, suck the air out. Um, but yeah, they all work good. Vacuum seal and keep it cold. That is the best way to, uh, to preserve your coffee beans and get the full flavor and aroma four months to come if you're not using it a lot. Alright, look, I can see it's warm in the morning. You're making up some coffee. Now I like to do 35 to 40 grams of uh, coffee to about just over six cups of water. So like 650 grams of water to 700 grams of water. And I use, lately, I've been using this thing, I'm just gonna, which is dripping, it's just a reusable, um, reusable coffee filter, otherwise I use these unbleached, um, regular ones, I was using the cone ones before, but, uh, this machine doesn't take cones, so, just, unbleached coffee ground, and I use just like a basic coffee grinder like this, um, but one quick tip, use a paintbrush to clean it all out after you're done using it, just keeps it cleaner, I used to just leave it and use it daily, but it built up and it just got so gross, just use a paintbrush, wipe it all out, and then second tip is use a pinch of coffee, or use a pinch of coffee. Use a pinch of um, salt on top of your coffee to help cut the bitterness. Uh, I'm using some Himalayan pink salt today, but sometimes I go iodized salt. Uh, either way, it helps, so I use uh, an eighth of a teaspoon for the um, 35 to 40 grams of coffee. So we've got our coffee brewing. Um, it smells absolutely delicious. We're just using a standard black and decker drip roaster, there's no settings on it, it's the most basic coffee machine you can buy it right away. I was doing press for a long time, I would say over a year I was using coffee press and uh, that was what I did every day, but I don't know, I, I moved into here and I unpacked my coffee machine and I just kept running tests with both of them, comparing um, comparing them and they were always blind. I always got my girlfriend to do um, like blind pouring and uh, bring them to me and, and then I have to do the blind taste test but it always seemed that the coffee brewer had more of what I was looking for in taste which is weird because I really like the oiliness of the uh, coffee press but anyways just thought I'd let you know I'm using a regular brewer filtered water um, and yeah, that's about it. We're gonna jump right into this. Just smells like standard coffee shop, like the ones they use 100% Arabica as well, so it didn't make sense. Super full body. Just a lot of a lot of flavors that are coming through right now. It's I'd say it's a little bit um, light for my taste. Like, I I would probably prefer a little bit uh, more coffee to water with this bean. Um, so I just went 40 grams flat, but I think I I think I would like 45 to the uh, six cups of water that I use. Some beans, um, even though I typically buy medium roast, I used to love dark roast. And when I go to some farms, actually, I buy a dark roast. But I used to like the dark roasts, I typically only buy medium roasts now, and even though they're all medium roasts, some of them just uh, have a lot more flavor and, and boldness to them, so I have to adjust accordingly depending on the flavor, but this is a, this is a really good, um, really good daily sipper, and it's, uh, it's, it's clean. I mean, the other thing that, um, I like about putting my coffee into jars like this is I've noticed that I get to see which beans are fresher and 
retain more oil because I place them all in the jars with the label and once we get about halfway down the jar, if there's not a lot of oil in the coffee beans, the label actually doesn't stick to the mason jar. But if the beans are really fresh and oily, the oil will get onto the label and stick it to the mason jar. I noticed with my lavazza, it did not um, it did not stick. It was very dry. The um, organica, very oily. The uh, savita, hazelnut vanilla, very oily. So I'm, I'm excited to see this uh, this Colombian roast from Zavita if it's uh, gonna hold up to the Zavita bean of being usually very fresh and and still uh, retaining a lot of the oils and aromas that you look for when you buy a coffee. Obviously, you could just go buy cocoa and buy a small batch. Sure, you could, but I'm not trying to spend that much money. I drink a lot of coffee and I'm to go to when it's on sale and get some delicious, clean, organic coffee. So that's, uh, that's going to do it for this review. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. I would say, I can't really say for my first taste test just because I have to adjust the amount of coffee to water to get the right flavor, but but uh, I do like the Organica a lot by Zavita, and it's going to be tough to beat. So after I um, master this uh, coffee here, I'll come back and let you know um, my further opinion on the actual taste. But until then, hope everyone's doing amazing, and uh, follow me down below my social media links will be there, and uh, check out my other videos, and like, comment down below if you have any recommendations for me, or um, anything like that, and uh, subscribe. And as always, this has been Jesse.